during winter, when ice starts to form on wet pavements, often salt is scattered around in an attempt to reduce the amount of ice forming or to melt the existing ice. Salt is used because it lowers the melting point of the ice, and it has to get a lot colder for salt water to freeze in rainwater. The greater the concentration of the salt, the lower the temperature needs to be before the ice will actually form. So what's actually going on at the molecular level to create this effect? Well, at the basic level, the hotter anything is, the more the atoms and molecules that make up the substance move around and bump into each other. And as this substance starts to cool down, the molecules slow down and occasionally bump into the neighbours. They start to stick to each other. In the process, they change from a liquid to a solid. This sticking or intermolecular force is very strong in some solids like diamond, but with others, the bonds are considerably weaker. The bond is also even weaker around the melting point of a solid. What tends to happen is that occasional molecule just gets a little bit too much energy to remain bonded to its neighbours and leaves the surface of the solid. However, this molecule is often rapidly replaced by another molecule with less energy. So with ice around freezing, you have the solid, the ice with a microscopically thin layer of water on top of the ice. It's one of the reasons why ice can be so slippery. The situation made worse when you apply pressure to the surface of the ice. Now when you add salt to the top surface of the ice, some of the salt dissolves in that tiny layer of water on the surface of the ice. Because there's so little liquid water on top of the ice, the salt in that water is an extremely high concentration, which dramatically lowers the freezing point of this water. It means that as some of the ice molecules leave the top surface of the ice and become liquid, they're not replaced by other molecules because the ice isn't cold enough for them to freeze. The situation continues until all the ice has melted or the salt water has become diluted enough to freeze whatever low temperature the rest of the ice is at. This does leave us with a question of why adding salt to water lowers the freezing point of the water. Firstly, it isn't just common salt that will do this, but other impurities which dissolve in water will also lower the freezing point. One of these is sugar, as well as magnesium chloride, which is actually even more effective than common salt. However, sodium chloride is relatively cheap and widely available. It tends to be commonly used for treating icy surfaces. Now, in salt, is added to water, it splits into two ions, sodium ions and chloride ions. These then interrupt the water molecules lining up and bonding with each other to form the regular structure of ice. The more salt is in the solution of the water, the more ions there are to get in the way of this structure forming, and therefore the lower the temperature which the ice can be formed. So it's these ions which are the key to keeping our pavements free from ice in the winter.